and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming Finalissima between Italy and Argentina. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. This Finalissima will be played at Wembley Stadium in London, England. That stadium does, of course, feature on the virtual red patch that I use. Excuse me, and there it is, the trademark arch in the background to your right now. Finalissima, right here. Italy took down England in the Euro final. Argentina also took down the host nation Brazil in the Copa America final. And now they face each other. All right, as the players line up. Let's take another look around Wembley Stadium in London, England before we pause for the national anthem. festivities and prepare for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For the Azuri, they line up in a 4-3-3. Chiro Immobile up top. Lorenzo Insigne and Berardi on the wings. Locatelli and Barella, the central midfielder. Jorginho to hold in midfield. No Chiesa, that's interesting. For Argentina, it's a 4-3-3. Lautaro Martinez up top. Papu Gomez and Leo Messi on the wings. Gio Lo Celso and Rodrigo De Paul, the center midfielders. Paredes, the holding midfielder. There's Donnarumma. There's our Unifornia finale ball, which, as best as I can tell from my internet research, is what they're going to use here. It's the same ball they used in the Euro final. And we're underway! Finalissima, the Euro champions versus the Copa America champions. They have done iterations of this twice before. Back in the 80s, France beat Uruguay 2-0. And in the 90s, Argentina beat... Or actually, I think it was a draw. Argentina and Denmark. After Denmark won the Euro, of course, Argentina the Copa. This is an interesting one. Even though we're on European soil, I'm going with Argentina here because, frankly, I just don't know what to expect from Italy. They look so brilliant, the Euros. If we had done this, uh... Whoa! Off the woodwork! And we'd done this preview back in July, August. I would have probably picked Italy for this one, but... With what's happened since then... I'm just not sure what to expect, so... We'll go with Argentina here. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. I uh, certainly lose my share of these, but Finalissima is going to have a winner. They're set up for extra time and penalties if need be. In the match itself, they're not going to do extra time. They're going to go straight to penalties after 90 minutes if it's uh, necessary. But I went ahead and threw the extra time period in there as well, just in case. Why not if it's a tight, fun matchup? Uh, play a little more. Messi. Ooh, dispossessed by Bonucci. Bonucci and Chiellini, the ever-reliable center back pairing for the Azzurri. Spinazzola back there. Surprise 
but I know Chiesa, I imagine we might see him come on at the half. Maybe there's a, uh, some kind of a matchup or something the AI side perceives as a beneficial. Bonucci fouls Lautaro Martinez, who plays his club football in Italy, of course, in Inter Milan. This is going to be a free kick in a really dangerous area for Argentina, and they've got a really dangerous man to take it. You may have heard of him. His name is Leo Messi. The shot is deflected by the wall. Cunha, the cross in. Martinez, the header wide, and he looks frustrated like he, <laughs> he wanted to do better with it that, but I would say from that distance, headers outside of the six-yard box, a header is tough, unless it's one of those really whipped ones, I suppose, I still think it's tough, outside the six, or do much with a header, Variety out there on that right wing, Federico Chiesa, Maybe they're saving him up for the half. Maybe he's not going to play today. I don't know. Maybe set the line up. <laughs> Whoa! Big strike from Chiro, the hero in the v Eddie Martinez bats inside. And Italy is only going to have a corner. Four shots to one for Argentina. They've had the better of this so far, but no score. It's our two confederation champions square off. I like the idea of this female East Said so they've done it a couple of times before. They haven't done it in a while. I don't know if this is really sanctioned anywhere. This is essentially classified as a friendly, but I like it fun little thing to do. Argentina certainly need the preparation for the World Cup anyway. Italy, unfortunately, do not. Which also makes me wonder what kind of side we even get from Italy, perhaps. We might go young. Latara Martinez, the header, knocked aside. That. Halftime whistle, still nil-nil at the break. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. All right, a little more than 50% possession for Argentina, but five shots to one does tell a story. Unable to convert, or perhaps Italia unwillingly to concede. And hey, there's Chiesa. What do you know? A halftime substitution. Yeah, I called that one. All right, enough about me. Montiel. Cross in, Latar Martinez again in the box looking for a header, can't find it. As I sit here and think about it, I've been trying to get up the flanks and cross central. It's not working out. Maybe I need to get it over to Messi and Gomez and let them bring it in. I don't know if I can try something different here. Probably should have thought about that a little more. Before we kick things off in the second half, but I was uh, being a windbag talking about all kinds of things. Messi, woo! Wins free kick as he dances around Manuel Lopatelli and Lorenzo Insigne. Salah is on for Lautaro Martinez. 
try something different in the attack here. Go about this a, uh, a different way, perhaps. Uh, looking for Messi to cut in there. He doesn't get in front of it. Renzo Insigne to Jorginho. He is dispossessed by his counterpart, Paredes. And Paredes sends one out for Papu Gomez. Can he get in front? He does. Oh, wow. Higuchi. Some emergency defending from the Azuri. Headed into the final quarter hour. Still nil-nil in our finalissima. I guess just sheer proximity makes me think that the crowd will be in favor of the Azuri. But now that I think about it, in this very stadium, the Azuri took down England in the final. The fans are mostly English, they will probably be very pro Argentina. And there's Gonzalez, and there's the goal, 83rd minute. The substitute comes on and scores and does a, an awkward little dance. There is certainly a contingent of pro Argentina supporters here. They let them hear it here. this. Bonucci out of position. Unlike the experienced center back. Gonzalez gets behind and finishes. See <laughs> on from Locatelli. Messi to make some substitutions here, get some fresh legs to press. And Rodrigo de Paul gets behind. This could be trouble. And it is a second in stoppage time. Donnarumma comes out. De Paul chips. And insurance goal for Argentina, Dos Acero. as he is. This chip is executed perfectly by Rodrigo de Paul. He's got the angle. He's got the height. Right in the corner. Beautifully done by Rodrigo de Paul. The strike a pose, young man. Well done. Dos Acero. Actually, I don't know how to say that in Italian. I know even less Italian than I do Spanish. As for this one, Gonzalez. Takes home man of the match honors for his insurance goal. Banucci dejected. Let's take a look at our highlights. The 11th minute. Leo Messi, the header off the bar. Twenty-third minute, Messi. The free kick blocked by the wall. Thirty-first minute, Chiro Immobile. Has a big shot here. Knocked aside by Emmy Martinez. 36th minute. Papu Gomez. Gets a look and sends it wide. And in stoppage time of the first half. Another cross into Lautaro Martinez. Another header. Batted aside by Gigi Donnarumma. Second half. Really box-to-box box until the 83rd minute when Montiel 
finds Gonzalez, who came on for Lautaro Martinez, and he scores. The match winner, as it would turn out to be. Just in case, in stoppage time, Gonzalez hits Rodrigo to Paul. He gets behind Chiellini. Wow, Bonucci gets beat for one and Chiellini for the other. That is un unlikely in most cases. A 2-0 finish for Argentina, and that is it from Wembley Stadium, the finalissima. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.